Yeah, wow. No nightmares. Cool. Come here, shoe. Come pick your fight with arrows. Fight with blah blah blah. We'll be going to blank stones next week. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. LMA. Pickaxe. Edit. Me. You know the drill. Hi. Hi. I just want to see something one second. I just want to look at the achievements on Steam because we got that achievement for B and I want to see if that means that you know we you know did all of B's scenes or we just got an achievement for getting a certain thing. View my achievements. Proximity counts. It just says proximity counts. Okay, cool. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> so otherwise, I think we'll just go out with B again. Feels like it's been years since I got back, and I saw this again. Yeah. Hey bird, things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Good morning! There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Oh, well, I'm gonna make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult, I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house, and I'm just so sorry. You, we, wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please, stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. Uh, what happens to- oh yeah, that was me, sorry. You too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Okay, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one. Only half. Honey, you're, you know, short. <laughs> half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be at any help. Thanks, Mom. Hmm. I'm getting very concerned about the headaches. Has someone who had major health problems in their life that started with headaches. <laughs> I'm very concerned for Maborowski. I didn't realize I could stand up here, that's cool. There's no point to, to this, just like the last time, it's just cool. Anybody here again? Nope. Didn't think so. It's still important to check. <laughs> ah, wapa. Spot to paint. May get down for those power lines. 
What? Oh, oh god. What do you want? That was a good spot to paint. I, I would love to make a painting of this. Or I would love, love to draw, like, a scene in this, you know? Hello to you too, May. Well, wanted to let you know, we ran a test on the arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah. Thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely! Arm belonged to a middle-aged man and a medium build. Hi, Aunt Malkop. Yeah, he was dead when it was removed. Whoa, that means it doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Oh, yeah, thanks. The ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Bye, Auntie. Hey, Selmers. Hey, Selmers! Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired, got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeah, take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Wanna hear a new poem? Heck yeah. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars. Drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh, longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. You notice anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently at least. That Casey kid last spring, but he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the I read the paper. <laughs> Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. It'll be dark soon. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Yeah. I'm not gonna go up on the, the roofs over there this time. Let's take our church route. See if the oh right we gotta go tell Pastor that uh, that Bruce is gone. Let's just go make sure that he is actually gone. We got statue of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Yeah. Wonder where Bruce has gotten to. Actually, I know. Green, green. I'm new. <laughs> blue, blue. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He what? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. I have a very bad feeling about this. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. I swear to god, if we find out that his family has like all been dead for a while, I'm gonna lose it. That's very sad, though. Very sad end to the saga. Even if Bruce actually did just hop a train and go home. I'm happy for him that he's trying to reconnect with his family, but I'm sad that he's not here anymore because he was cool. It's kind of sad that he left because the town was threatening him, you know? The townspeople are a bunch of jerks. Or the town council, anyway. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hon. 
like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creep and dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hun, can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing the scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. Haha, <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great in the games to keep you quiet. <laughs> with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Got your picture. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days. But it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Door's back there. Door back there is unlocked now, so you have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Sweet! We can finally enter the stupid room over here. Haha, -ha, look at me. In the library. Let's take a cat nap. Oh god, I thought we like actually disappeared for a second, but no, we're just sleeping. I'm very worried about how tired we are. Grandpa? This isn't creepy at all. Ghost! A ro 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 roast! Well, that was something. Not Grandpa? Okay. Was that God? <gasps> no, he's watching us when we were sleeping. That was Santa. Only Santa watches you when you're asleep. He knows when you're awake. You better not chill. You better not cry. Can I sleep again? Can I go to sleep again? No. Drat. Santa. Is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows you've been bad. Tunnel fish always be there. Will tunnel drain canal be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. We're bad people. We just constantly doing that to him. Also, the old lady is just not coming back, and that makes me sad because I'm pretty sure she's my grandma. Either that or she and, and grandpa had some. Some, uh, sexy times together. Gosh, it's already 11.55. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Huh, is that a fiddle? It's a violin. It's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town an abandoned building by Click Clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Huh. 
I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. Time flies when you're having fun. Time flies when you're feeling emotions. That's That should be the catchphrase of this. Time flies when, when you're feeling emotions. What is fun? Baby, don't hurt me. Whoa, whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. Tired, had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. No, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Sorry. Ghost. Thanks. And I feel bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning, and I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull's gonna explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Huh. Do you still want to check out the graveyard? Yes. Let's go do that. Let's do that, and that'll be the, the last thing for the stream. We probably could have done a little bit more in town, but I think I think it'll be good to just, you know, do this. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know, good, sp good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. Hey, B? Yeah. Sorry again about last night. Uh, that's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social. It sure is. <laughs> we're, we're in a graveyard. This is not social. B, why aren't you jumping with me? Well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed up right now. F is for friends who you interact with. U is for understanding boundaries. N is for anywhere and everywhere at all right here in the big wide universe. <laughs> things are like monumentally screwed up right now. And no one in power gives a darn. Or they're actively making it worse. F spider profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh, right. <laughs> Not that kind of scary. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? The skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling, and he's from the bank. <laughs> Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my God, Beatrice. <laughs> what were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb, let's go. Stay hydrated, you fools! Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, oh okay. She give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? I bet your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave for three.
Okay, I don't want to actually disturb her. I feel bad. Let's go back to that central area where we're probably going to see a ghost or something. Rose. Aged 95 years. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech things was horses. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Catherine Fish. Taken by flu, 14 years old. Aw, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. Oh! Hi. Hey. Evening. Evening. What up, dear bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves of the shovel? Like, in the pale moonlight? When the ghosts stalk the rose? Nah, we got a little backhoe. Scares the ghosts away too, I reckon. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. <laughs> he's a grave digger, and on the side, he's a wedding DJ. Oh my god. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Amazing. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. 